Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and I'll be taking you on a tour of MATLAB, an image processing toolbox. I'll use the example of finding lane markings in an image of a street to explore the features of our software tools. Through this example, we'll explore several image processing concepts, such as segmentation, morphology, image statistics, and huff transforms. Now, I'd like to give you a brief tour of MATLAB technical computing software and image processing toolbox. Let's begin by reading in an image into the MATLAB workspace. The code seen here is organized into cells. The MATLAB editor has a feature that allows code within a cell to be run iteratively and independently of other cells in the script. It also enables you to include code and comments in presentations using the publishing feature. In this cell, we use the imread and imshow functions to import a JPEG image into the MATLAB workspace. As you can see, we have a picture of a street and the lines we'd like to detect. Let's dock the window in the MATLAB desktop so we can monitor our results as we proceed through the script. The next step will be to crop out a portion of our image. We assume the lanes are at the center so we can ignore the data to the sides. Using the supplied position vector, which will preserve the center of the image, we crop the image using the imcrop function. We will then threshold the image so we can segment the lanes from the rest of the picture. In this case, we find that 200 will give us a relatively good result, but we do see some artifacts above. A variety of tools are available in MATLAB, an image processing toolbox to help you find an appropriate threshold, including imtool and the graythresh function, which uses Atsu's method to calculate a threshold. Now let's deal with artifacts above. We can address this issue by using the bwareaopen function, which is one of the morphological functions in image processing toolbox. This will eliminate objects or blobs that have an area under 100 pixels in this case. As you can see, running the cell has eliminated the artifacts above. Because we make the assumption that the lanes are near the center of the image, we can use the IamClearBorder function to help remove blobs that touch the sides of the picture. We are left with six objects, and we can determine which ones are lanes by using image analysis functionality in image processing toolbox. We use the BWBoundaries function to trace a boundary around each blob, as well as to generate a new image where each object is given its own index. In this case, the index is represented by its own color. The result is then passed to the region props function, which gathers a variety of attributes for each of these blobs. For example, we have information about area, centroid, but we will be interested in the eccentricity. For more information on region props, the MATLAB documentation is a great tool and provides details on the attributes and parameters of this function. One can access the documentation by right-clicking on the function in the MATLAB editor and selecting Help on Selection. An object that has an eccentricity close to zero is shaped more like a circle, while an object with eccentricity close to one is shaped more like a line. In the next cell, we investigate the eccentricity for each of these objects and threshold them to find the lanes. Four indices are captured and we can confirm that these indices belong to the lane objects by drawing their boundaries found earlier using the bwBoundaries function. In this cell, we wrap the line function inside a for loop and draw a red line around each of the selected blobs in the original image. As you can see, we have successfully identified the lanes within the image. However, there is another method we will investigate. The Huff transform is well suited to find lines in an image and this functionality is available in Image Processing Toolbox. Our image is used as an input to the Huff transform, and we use the following functionality to identify the top two lines within the image. We then use the arrow function, which is actually a user-contributed file available online at the MATLAB Central File Exchange, to plot the green lines on the image. As you can see, we have successfully identified the lanes within the image using two different techniques available in Image Processing Toolbox. This demos the beginning to a more complex problem in lane detection, and it demonstrates key capabilities of MATLAB and image processing toolbox. For more information, please see other demos available on our website. Thank you.